Hello and welcome back to Pathfinder Kingmaker. So, we are not starting where we left off last time. Last time we were in the throne room, basically just ran outside, got us ourselves a party, and I think we're going to go and do a main quest. Basically, we have this Visit the Goblin Village quest, and it seems like it's the most obvious one to do. We don't have any other real quest that we can do. We have the Swamp Bouquet, which is one where we have to find some plants, which I believe we already failed to get... Uh, when we were down in the Swamp Witch's Hut down here. So how we get them now, I have no idea. Maybe there's someone we can buy them from. But essentially, we can't just uh, get that quest done. We can't force it to be done any quicker. Then we got the Lonely Hunter, which is a quest all the way over here. Which is somewhere we weren't really meant to go. I don't think we were meant to go to Varnhold yet. But, I mean, we've been there now. But it just doesn't seem like it was the right time to go to Varnhold. Anyway. We have a route there now, which is pretty nice. Um, we can go back there in the future. Potentially going and visiting him has some kind of effect. Maybe he'll stop asking us to go and visit him. I guess might be the most immediate effect, but there you go. That's basically what's going on there. And some of the quests in the middle, I was kind of interested in. So, uh, let me have a look here. So, first one is, ah yes, how to build a kingdom. Upgrade another village to a town. You can upgrade a, a village to a town every... Three settlements you control, apparently. So, we control three settlements, which is why our capital is a town. But even if we build another settlement here, we can't upgrade another one. So, we can't get that quest going any further. And, yeah. that Well, actually, that was the only one in there I really wanted to talk about. Yeah. Oh, the other thing was, in our kingdom map, we are minus on BP. Apparently, our stability will drop, or... Whatever it's called, our status of our realm will drop down by one if it's negative at the end of the week. Now, I don't know whether that is plus our BP for the next week or whether that's before BP for the next week, if you understand what I'm meaning. Like, right now we're negative 28. We gain 36 a week. So, by some accountings of that phrasing, we would be positive 8 at the start of the next week. By other ones, we're negative 28 at the start of the next week. Then we get the 32. If you know... Sorry, we're negative. Yeah, you get what I'm saying. Basically, it's does it uh, count before or after we get the money in for the next week. Anyway, I think I described it in the most confusing way possible for me at the very least. So, um, basically... Nope, my brain's gone. Anyway, yes, we're, we're now at... Apparently, we're at um, the status serene. I'm still not sure where you see this, but okay, somebody has informed me of that. So, we were dropped down to stable, and the effects of this is that it lowers your um, roll on each kind of event by one until it goes back up to Serene. Uh, and I believe that there it can go down to negative four, and if it goes below negative four, it's then you're just screwed. Like, the game ends, apparently. So that's, that's the plan. Anyway, I'm going to head down here, because I don't think we've ever... Yeah, we've never actually been in the bridge over the Gut Gudrun River. And I think that seems like a good place to go before we head to the Goblin Village, because it's kind of on the way. Yeah, that's the plan. Let's go in. Uh, I took a, uh, this party, in case you're wondering why I took this exact party. And I took Jethal, because she has Cleave, and I think that's going to be very useful if we have to fight goblins. Valerie is Valerie, Lindsay is Lindsay, and I took Jubilos, because he seems to have interesting things to say about new cultures and kind of people. And I think he might have something to say about goblins. Right. I'll go ahead. Let's arrange our party, do a little quick save. And let's get going. We'll stick to the... Oh, let's not stick to the path. Let's go off path straight away. Ooh, what did we get? Another part of the ring. Interesting. I wonder how many parts there are to that ring. It seems like we've got, like, five now. Bear? The path is clear. We'll do it. Get it. Hard way. Level five bear. We should be okay to just kill it, I'd imagine. Uh, oh, she's not got cleave on as permanent thing. Okay, that's fine. We'll do that. Just checking that nobody has some pre-assigned abilities. Ah, he does. Uh, you can just attack it. This no, spell has other uses. No, just attack it with your, like, attack. There we go. Good. That's fine. Oh, and it's dead. Yeah, so that's basically why I wasn't doing anything else with that one. Okay, fine. Head along here. Did we get any XP for that? 36. That's not bad. Goblin Prince? Hello. The goblin in front of you looks unusual. 
His ugly face is covered with red clay, which looks to be war paint. A string of beads is hanging down from his ears and he's wearing a dirty reed skirt. Stop! I be Prince of Cameland. You be bringing presents. I take everything. Shiny bits, sparkly bits, grub. Would you look at that? We've got another sovereign here. There must be something in the air making rulers multiply like rabbits. Soon you won't be able to plant an apple tree without a king apple growing from it. Declaring independence and demanding taxes. Um. Hmm. You know what? Maybe I'm going to intimidate. I am the baroness of these lands. Do you know what I do with imposters like yourself? Ah! Prince wants to live. Prince too pretty to die. The goblin rips off the beads rips the beads off his head and throws them at you. With an angry whine, the goblin runs off, a trail of reed uh, stalks falling from his skirt as he flees. Oh. I didn't necessarily want him to run away, but okay, I'll take the uh, experience. And now we have a pearl How necklace. Curious. Uh, the worn adornment made from high-grade pearls, a half-erased monogram can be seen on the clasp. I mean, I think I should just wear it? Can I wear I it? shall keep it for someone else. Okay, that's fine. Well, hopefully that Share goblin prince will. wasn't anyone I wanted to speak to. Another shard of the ring. Okay, well, we we now have a lot of shards of this ring, so we should be able to create it at some point soon, you'd hope. Although I don't know how many you need, because we haven't created anything successfully yet. Anyway, fine. Ooh, that's a lot of things in that uh, little bit there. I should go off the path more often. Hey. Right off a goblin prince. Let's go this way and see what we got. Oh, we got a rock. Okay. Right this way. Ah, another path. Okay. Along here we have another set of reeds with more things in them. That one's not as impressive. It's just eggs, gold, and uh, a potion of heroism. Okay, we'll grab that. I mean, really, if we're playing it absolutely 100% min maxi. We probably shouldn't pick up anything until we leave. Uh, and then when we leave, uh, we get the option to take whatever we want. And then that way we don't get the weight added to us until we leave. So we don't get go up to medium encumbrance or anything. But that's not really an issue for us right now. But it could have been something we could have done in the past. Anyway. Uh, let's kill the Tatsa Worms. The level 3 dragons. Yeah, that'll do it. Uh, you know what, Chupa Lost? I think it is time for a bomb. Right there. Okay, right there. Okay, right... Oh, did he just... Oh, he's not attacked yet. There. Perfect. Probably would have done just as well if we just attacked. Oh, well. Whatever. Suppose you can't skin if you uh, collect it all at the end. Not that you can skin these uh, skin these things, apparently. Whatever. Still doing all right. Head along this way. Ooh, okay. Well, um, Lindsay, if you wouldn't mind. Applause, please. Uh huh. And then half plate plus two. Ooh, very nice. Ah, but she has full plate plus one. Which is better than half plate plus two. Ah, well, hmm. That's fine then. Is it worth putting a uh, half plate on here? I mean, she doesn't really use spells anymore. Her dexterity is plus two. It would get rid of her entire dexterity. Hmm. Probably not then. Probably a harem item, I guess. Okay. Still, it sells for a lot, if nothing else. Like, even if we have nobody who can use it, it's still worth getting. So, head along there. Alright, a little quick save again, because I'm paranoid. Ooh. We got the camera goes weird if you try and move it while it's quick saving. The path is Ooh, what we got here? We got a little dwarf, a merchant's guard. Oh, and then a merchant. Tiggy. Just smirked. Hello. What a surprise. You charge your fortune for your food, and what do we get? Moldy bread and rotten vegetables. <laughs> Beer, Adrastal, Tigne, your profit is someone's grief. 
Out of my sight, I'm the only vendor for leagues around you. Eat what I sell or you don't eat at all. <laughs> the merchant, a stout man in a shabby jacket, greasy pants and a tattered beret, finally notices you. <laughs> ah, welcome to the traveling shop of Tigny Just Mert. The finest goods this side of the canyon, my lady. <laughs> hmm. Well, what's all the commotion at the bridge? Where have all these people come from? Haven't you heard? The Stag Lord, Baroness, he's alive. Excuse me? What do you mean he's alive? One day he just comes back with his band, takes the bridge and starts demanding coin for safe passage. So people are piling up at the bridge. After all, how can a peasant scrape up enough coin to pay the toll? Some have been here for a while now. Many might have starved to death if it weren't for my willingness to help those in need. For the right price, of course. Yeah, but what do you mean the Stag Lord has come back? Anyway, your prices are three times higher than those of the other merchants. The demand is high, madam. The trader winks and jiggles his fat purse. No one around offers the produce I do. In fact, you won't find anyone else in these parts. A uh, salad in these parts. And you know people. They just love to eat. He laughs, amused by his own joke. This is inhuman. He has the right to do so. On the other hand, he stands on your land, thus he is in your hands. This is a confusing situation. In this wild realm, you can seldom rely on any established law. Um. Um. I don't know. Let's see where we want to go with this. I think we'll just go neutral good. Have you no shame? These people are starving. No you care about is lying in your pockets. Hickney averts his eyes in silence. Finally, he sighs. Very well, I will lower my prices. You think I'm some cold, heartless beast? Okay, uh, I'm going to point at the peasants. Looks like you're making their blood boil. That rabble. Tigny looks over at the peasants and sniffs. Those beggars can say whatever they want. They may whine and grumble all they wish. But they never dare come out in arms against my boys. Okay, uh, let's, let's see what you got. Now that you've lowered the prices for me. Ooh, part three. Ah, we already have part three. Okay, um, he doesn't have anything else I want. The simple crossbow, maybe, but I don't have the money for it, so. You know, see ya. Also just realized I still have the Heart of Ira. I haven't given it to anyone. Even though it is an amazing item. Yeah. While the aura is activated, creatures adjacent take 2d6 per round and must succeed. Yeah. I think that seems amazing, actually. Now that I, I think am about yours it. to command. So is yeah is there? That's fine. So we'll only use it if we can separate people up. That's fine. This party is okay at that, but we need kind of an even more um, ranged party to deal with it. Anything else? Ooh, a dagger. Chalk dagger. That's a good one for Octavia. She's our dagger user in the group. All right, we lowered their prices. Are the mer uh, the peasants happy now? <laughs> hey, refugee, what's up? Before you is a disheveled woman, wearing a cheap dress and a cloak that's grey with dust. She covers her face as she sobs uncontrollably. A disaster. This is such a disaster. Your whining irritates me. The woman casts a scared glance at Jathal and tries to calm down her tears, or at least wipe them more quietly. What happened? The woman raises her face, tears still streaming. Her eyes widen as she recognizes you and she shudders. Baroness, it must be Providence that you are sent to me. Only you can help me. She wipes her cheeks and stifles another sob. I was robbed by a forest monster. It took my most valuable possession. My great-grandmother's pearl string. Oh, well I know where that is. I was hoping to pay the bandits at the bridge with them. They're a family heirloom. A real treasure. My great-grandfather brought the pearls all the way from El... Eladir. I thought that would be enough to get me to Galt. Then I was ambushed by that vile beast. I was so frightened I dropped all my belongings and ran. But when I came to my senses, it was too late. What am I going to do? I'm so scared of going back. It's weird that everyone wants to go to Galt. Like, absolutely everyone wants to go to Galt. We, re we read about Galt, right? Yeah. Okay, but still weird that absolutely everyone that we meet, all the refugees are heading to Galt. Anyway, uh, I found these uh, pearl string. The woman presses her hands to her chest. For Rastel's mercy, you found my pearls. Um, well, 
Here are your pearls. Please be more cautious along the rest of your journey. The woman slowly slides the pearls through her fingers. They're so beautiful. It's such a pity I'll have to part with them. Perhaps it would be best to cut the string, spend the pearls one at a time. She sighs and forces a smile. But I'll manage your grace. Thank you for your help. I'll never forget what you've done. <sighs> okay, here, take this money for the toll. It should keep those Eladir pearls in your family. The woman is completely speechless for a moment. You, you are a saint. May a dress still preserve you. Oh, it didn't cost us anything. Got us loyalty plus one. I, guess I don't think it cost us anything. Oh, no, it did. It cost us like a hundred gold or something like that. Anyway, why are people uh, got, why have people got a toll up at my, um, yeah, Serves my bridge? Right, seems you a little bit be. un, like, and it's the stag lord? That seems a little bit unfortunate. Uh, excuse me? That's too many bears. Uh, yeah, we'll turn on cleave. This might be worth, um, chucking a bomb in at. Didn't quite get it there. Another one. The Thal attack this one. Things. Uh, bomb in there. Okay. Nice! That's what I was looking for from the cleave. The double kill. Then this bear. Yeah, pretty much dead. You ever get the feeling we're over leveled? For once in the game, we're over leveled. Good. Right. Quick save. State your uh, and start hitting yourself. There we go. So there's mostly bears around here. Uh, oh, wow. That's a lot of rain. We're going quite this slowly. Fine, no. Happy to continue going further down here if there's something to get. Doesn't look like there is, though. Hmm. Okay. Keep having a look around. Oh, what have we got here? We found Great Beast. Chief, be very pleased. Chief will reward us. Give us lots of grub. Let's go to a village. Lead Chief to Great Beast. Damn rock head. Village be far. From river be going towards sunrise. Then be turning by moss stone. Then be stomp stomping through hills long time. Going there and back again. Puh. Takes too much time. Better we bring Great Beast to Chief. Yes, let's go there. Let it go there itself. Hey, Great Beast, come on. Get up. Stop, stop. Now. The owlbear is slumbering. The goblins fidget and glance at each other. Um. Huh. What if Great Beast cannot hear us? Is it dead? He is not dead. He lazy bones don't want to go. Look, I show you. Hey. The goblin grabs a stick and pokes the owlbear's beak with it. You get up, lazy bones. No sleep. Come see, chief. Look, great beast, be awake. Be standing up. Be mighty great beast. Now, great beast, be listening to me. Behind us, stomp, stomp. No noise, no roaring. You hear, lazy bones? No roaring. See? It not dead. It awake now. Hey, no roaring. Put claws away. Hey. Hey. Us, no eat. No eat. Ah, my legs. I need inspiration. Okay, well. Goblins don't seem to be the brightest, do they? Um, I'm thinking like one of those, and that'll probably do it. Once it gets in range, you know? Oh, it's still going, huh? Not bad. Nice, nice, that's better. There's only one owl bear, so. Not too bad. Christine probably needs to heal, but that's okay. Let's... That's alright, we'll, we'll leave it there. He's not that hurt. And back here we've got... Oh, okay. So some things, basically. Is that it? 
that appears to be it. All right, we're going to walk back. We're not really encumbered, so... It's just the rain. I'll go ahead. Yeah, I'd love it if you could go ahead, but unfortunately, uh, nobody's going ahead. We're all walking very slowly in the rain. Right, down this way. So this, I think, was meant to be our introduction to the goblins, but we may have skipped it slightly. Uh, that's alright. Well, it's good we came here before we went to the goblin village, anyway. I'm quite decided on a voice for the goblins. It's not quite as easy as the kobold. We got the, uh, like, you got the, all the S's. I don't really know what a goblin's meant to sound like. I'm thinking they probably just sound stupid. Oh, there's a hodag. It's two hodags, in fact. Despicable. Um... Just letting the ink dry. This might be the time to... Yeah, level 8. We let's go for some... Spells and stuff. You require my assistance? Yeah, let's, let's get them. And then our leader charged forwards. Uh, hey, wait for me! Oh, we did some damage. Oh, there's three. Okay. I'm good. Still, uh... Still alive, huh? Well, now it's dead. Not too bad, just a little bit bad. Advance. Right. Everyone fire on this Repent. one. Right, attack. Nice. Nice. A lot of misses, but... 91, huh? 91 damage. Just wipe it completely off. Oh, this one's ferocious. Oh, it was uh, more powerful, huh? Oh, well. It's also dead. Okay, along here. And Ooh, we got we got a little cave. Let's go have a look in the cave. Probably more hodags, I imagine. But we'll see. Oh yeah, it's looking like more hodags. Hello, cave. Oh whoa, what? What? The hell? Level 6 Steen Dragon Moon to fire? The what? That is crazy. What can remove its regeneration? Cold iron. Otherwise it will just keep regenerating. I am your shield. Do not well, we gotta take at least one shot at it, right? Uh, bane your weapon up and go. Unworthy. Right. My skills are getting rusty. Buff. Actually, you know what? Hold that, everybody. Request. Hold up, hold up. Right, um... Lindsay? What troubles you? Buff. Haste. Right here, my friend. Um, might be a blessed time. The road awaits. I don't know what we can do to prepare for this, yes. but that's fine. And he can take his contagion. Go. Enemy near. Oh, it's gonna destroy us. By the way, I'm fairly certain. Uh, Jubilos. Now you've taken that. Bomber's eye. That makes it only hit one, right? That increases the range. What's the one that makes him only hit one? Targeted bomb. Yeah. Use a targeted bomb mixture. Uh, and then you start snowballing you it. it. Is it evil? It is evil. So arrows of light, I guess. Or maybe we'll try praying. That seems like a good idea. Um, now, we can't use our fire on it, which is going to be an issue because that's mainly what we have. Phantasmal killer is not impossible. In the fortitude save, it's likely to succeed at, but we can actually do damage with the will, maybe. I'll try it. Let's go. Didn't hit it. What's our chance to hit? Against flat-footed? 31. So we only need 11 to hit. So that's not possible. Oh, wow. Uh, we created a big phantasmal killer to hit it. It did damage as well. Okay. Valerie and Jathal are dead. I see your As are we. 
Save the will. It, it failed the. Uh, no, it succeeded in the will save this time. <laughs> what the hell? All right. Well, um, I mean, where 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 do I note that down? Uh, it's a long time ago. Uh, I'm leaving, as well. Uh, let's see, level. 16 Dragon Bridge. Uh, let me just say that there is zero chance of us beating that right now. I mean, potentially. There's, there's stuff I didn't try, okay? I mean, what level are we right now? We're level 8. So, the 6 level 8s versus 1 level 16. I think that's not quite right. I try and remember what the ratios are for Pathfinder. I can't remember. I think it's something like... I think the the because I think it's CR rating is usually what you use. So let's say it's CR rating sixteen. I have no idea. By the way, I'm just guessing. I think it's like it's one level above or something like that. I, I can't remember. Anyway, whatever. I think like for I, usually they work in groups of four as well. I can't remember what what the CR ratings are. Basically, I think we have to be like level 10, 12, 14, something like that. A higher level than we are. Unworthy. Serves you right. Uh, yeah, I don't know. Anyway, what really matters is that it was a level uh, 16 dragon, and we are not equipped for that. We could use energy resistance, and that might allow us to survive one attack, but at the same time, the only damage we did was Phantasmal Killer. And uh, it didn't do that much. Like, I mean, yeah, I mean, if we did that, uh, say, 100 times, I think we could win. I don't want to do that 100 times. I don't know. Whatever. Whatever. Maybe I'm wrong, but it seems to me that that's not right. There was an old man on the bridge. Hello, old man. What's up? The old man who called to you looks to be in bad shape. Pale face, dark circles under his eyes, and his forehead glistening with sweat. There's no doubt this man is very sick. Hey, hey, hey lass, would you... The old man breaks into a coughing fit. Would you do an old man a favor in his hour of need? I've traveled far, but I somehow fell ill along the way. I know of a berry that grows along the coast in these parts, though. It's supposed to be a potent medicine. It will. The old man coughs again. Put anyone back on their feet. They're black. Hard to miss. The old man bursts into one more coughing fit for a few moments. Black, with a hint of purple. The bush is short. You've got short, le uh, strong legs and sharp eyes. Honor. The old man coughs again, but quickly controls it. Honor an old man's wish, and bring me a handful of those berries. Where are you from? The outskirts of the Gnaw Marches. Used to live there with my son and his wife. When the scourge started to spread through the barony, a few people in our village started falling ill. We knew it was time to run. Hated to abandon the house, but what could we do? My son's little ones. The old man lets out a few wet coughs. We couldn't just let the little ones perish in that cursed place. I left too. They're my family after all. The old man coughs a few times. But I'm not as strong as I once was. I started lagging behind, holding them back. So I said, listen son, save your wife and kids. I'll make it there on my own. He coughs again and goes silent for a moment. We agreed to meet up in Drembar village. He trails off as his eyes grow watery. Who are all these people on the bridge? Refugees run from an illness that causes horrible beasts to burst out of people's bodies. The rulers couldn't care less for the simple folk, the old man says, cringing slightly, so people run as far as they can. The Baroness can stay in her cursed lands for all she wants, but we want to be safe. No, I'm not killing him. I'm just going to say you shouldn't speak of the Baroness that way. The old man waves his hand dismissively. I'm old. I have little concern for them high lords. I just hope I don't die, and none of my kin get sick. I have to go. Go get him some berries. Okay. We'll see what we can do. Also, where's the stag lord we were told who'd been reborn? Oh, hello. Hungry peasants. Hungry peasants. Well, I'll be going through now. The bandit in front of you is well armed. As are the other warriors behind him, he turns to face you. 
Hey, get in line. Watch where you go. Oh, the old man. Uh, the man trails off as he sees your face. He recognizes you. By the gods, the Baroness. What? The what? What brings you here? The man glances at his companions, look equally uncertain what to do, and turns red. Uh, well, uh, of course you can pass, your grace. What's going on here? Well, now we uh, we're guarding the bridge, Baroness, from monsters and others on the Stag Lord's orders. Um, yeah, Stag Lord, Stag Lord is dead. What is this nonsense? Gotta peel your eyes, your grace. He's alive. Alive he is. See for yourself. There he is, keeping watch over us himself. Huh? What do you mean? Who gave you the right to uh, extort passers-by? We have to eat much as anyone else. The hunger take us if we got no coin. Who are these monsters you're talking about? Why, uh, Baroness, all kinds, all kinds. Uh, not long ago, a hydra popped out on the other side of the river, right, man? The warriors nod. A fat, long fanged bastard, too. Now, Your Grace, what happens if that thing gets it into its head to feast on the people, folk, on the folk crossing the bridge? That's not the worst of it. There are goblins sneaking about as well, snatching everything that's not tied down. Well, I'm the Baroness of this, of these, of this realm, and I didn't order anyone to guard this bridge. The bandit swallows. It, uh, yeah, it, it, it's an order and it's an order. We're the Staglor's people. He says, guard the bridge, we guard the bridge. Enough. The man falls silent. The, man, the men behind him all looking at their feet uncomfortably. Where is this stag lord of yours? There, see? Right there. Go up to him. He's the one you want to talk to. I should go. Okay. Where is he? Mr. Stag Lord. I'll come back for you if he's not here. I will. But first of all, I'm going to grab this in case it's the berries. Ooh, a cloak. Cloak of the Winter Wolf. Uh, whenever the wearer of this cloak makes a successful bite attack, it deals 1d6 cold and trips the target. Useful? Confusing, but useful. The path is clear. Okay. We were told the Stag Lord was here? I'm not going into that cave. Alright, well. I'm looking for this Stag Lord. Bandit Cleric. Okay, there's a lot of bandits, but that's fine. We may come and kill them all soon. What we got here? Okay, nothing there. Up uh, this way. Ah, this must be where the Stag Lord is, right? I've spotted something. What's that? Sweet syrup. Ooh. It does. I mean, his name does say Fake in it, which doesn't make me think he's the real Stag Lord. Ooh, another dagger. Uh, Arcane Protector. Uh, plus three dodge to AC and immunity to nauseated condition. Hmm. Nice. Okay. Lindsay, please open this for me. It's just not my lucky day. Yeah, you know what? It's just not your lucky day. Uh, Lactory of Negative Channeling. If the wearer of this he uh, headband has the ability to channel negative energy, it increases the damage. Uh, does to living creatures or heals to undead creature. So we can... Oh, wait, what? So this is a... Hmm, okay. So this must be if you have the opposite thing to what Trist... So Tristine has the ability to channel positive energy, and... Okay, there must be able to channel negative energy if you're like a an evil cleric? Hmm. We don't have one of those. I failed. I I'm sorry. Okay, well, that's Try fine, Lindsay. I forgive you. I believe I found something. Ooh, you did. We'll have that as well. Perfect. Right back this way. Um, I just remembered who Tristian sounds like for me. Let us be careful. He sounds like a Loth from, um, yeah, from Pillars. That's who he sounds like. I mean, he's not. He's still different, but that's that's where the I recognize that clear. voice from. I'm fairly certain he's not, but I could be wrong. Anyway, Githal? Ask. Right. The infamous Stag Lord looks to be a portly man somewhere in his 40s. His armor is, at least, a size too small for his bulk, and the ill-fitting helmet on his head is adorned with antlers that vaguely resemble those seen on the head of the previous Stag Lord, now deceased. Who dares stumble into my headquarters without so much as a knock or a bow? 
Who the hell do you think you are? Well, I'm Soroceros, Baroness and rightful ruler of this realm, and you are? Baroness, you say? <laughs> you made a huge mistake coming here then, for I am the Stag Lord, hero to the people and enemy of any bureaucrats who dare call the Stolen Lands their own. You? A hero? Not a chance. You're more like comic relief. Well, here's the thing. I dealt with the Stag Lord myself. You're just an imposter and a miserable one at that. It may be hard to see his face under his ridiculous helmet, but it's easy to see the bandit leader deflate upon hearing your words. I, uh, no, it, it is I who is the Stag Lord. You killed a, an imposter. The gang's leader's voice quavers as he speaks. Well, this is just great. We're sent to get rid of the Stag Lord. And you say the one we took out is just an imposter? Well, I guess we're lucky to finally meet the real one, aren't we? Um... Well, I don't know how we're going to deal with this. I'm thinking lawful evil kind of be is, is where I want to uh, go for here. Just straight up kill him? Uh, yeah. Wait, no. The money you've collected were better served in the treasury? No. That's not what I want to do. I do want to kill him, though. No one blocks travel in stolen lands. No. Um, never hear from you again. I guess I'm going to kill him then, right? Um, I don't know. Like, I, what I'd like to do is kill him and return the money. I guess they've all gone to Galt now. I guess I'm just going to kill him and keep the money. You'll hang in the main square as a warning to any other outlaws that might dare cross my path. The money you've collected will serve me better in the treasury. If I knew that I would have to do... If I knew what I would have to do after joining you, Tristian shakes his head. Not the most elegant expression of the will of law, but scum like this probably would not understand otherwise. No, please, mercy! The fat man jumps up, drops his helmet and weapons and begins running. Uh, excuse me? You don't get to kill him? What? I'll go ahead. What do you mean we don't get to kill him? Oh, wait, we gained his money. We just took, we literally just took his money. That wasn't really what I was going for, but okay, whatever. We've made the choice, we'll live with it. I'm not going to walk along there just yet. We need to find these berries that are at the coast. I'm assuming this is what he means by coast. I'm not really sure. Maybe he literally means coast, in which case it's a long way away. Can you make an epic pose? Oh, cool. Uh, Jathal, leave. Get him. Lindsay, uh, I'm going to need you to switch to your uh, backup weapon. Uh, and we are going to chuck in one of those. Alright. Nice. Uh, more damage. Actually, we might want to do this on them. This that might allow us to survive. No definitely helped quite a lot. Uh, shocking touch on the one who's jumped up to us. Yeah, shocking touch. Lindsay's a little hurt. Uh, not the best situation for her to be in, to be honest with you. I would like to use this ability, but I think they get an attack of opportunity on her when she uses it, so maybe not. Maybe start singing. Jubilost, uh, chuck a bomb in there. Yeah, chuck a bomb in there. Ha! Primitives! Uh, do you want to heal using channel positive energy? Maybe, but maybe not. Yeah, let's let's not. Mm -hmm. Let's go. I may have underestimated this section. Protect me, please. It's okay. It's just the alpha wolf now. Uh, get the warg who's on us. Right. Lindsay's still going, which is nice. As she switched to her. Uh, Sword yet? She has. Okay. You lost about to chuck a bomb, which might save her. Okay. This is fine. Uh, use that again. Oh, that'll do it. Yeah. Okay. Well, at least we can rest. At the end of this. We're not dead. We're just hurt. Wonder what that is. Okay, doesn't matter. 
uh, quick save and head along the coast. Well, I'm guessing this is what he's meaning by coast. We're looking for berries along here. Not ducks, berries. And Hello. Well, wait, hey, wait for me. Didn't really expect for there to be more fighting, but okay. Did expect for her to instantly fall down. Right, that one's dead. Keep uh, chucking in. I'll maybe use this one. Kill the eagle eyes. Did no damage. Okay. Try it again. And. 16. That's more like it. Please don't kill me. Okay. Not good. Got a hit on him. And he's down. Nice. Not ideal. But okay. I'll live with it. And there's the berry bush, right? Yeah, blackberries. Grab those. Grab these. Uh, those berries are deadly. They cause an almost immediate death. Ah, okay, so he's wanting us. I, I was kind of suspecting something like that. He wants us to kill him. Quickly rather than uh, it taking time. Right, let's have a little rest here. I mean, what's the worst that could happen? He dies. Right, um, Jubilost Cooks, uh, Lindsay Camouflages, Christian Hunts, We Go and Walk with Jathal, and Lindsay Maintains Armor. Roll, uh, the Galt Ragu seems pretty good. Uh, let's do that. Yeah. And we get a little bit of uh, conversation. Hopefully. No. No conversation. Okay. Well, at least we're healed up, mostly. Request. Apart from uh, the Thal. Who really needs a better way of healing. But whatever. Uh, yeah, still nothing I want from them. So we'll explore the rest of the map, then we'll head out and uh, see what we've got back here. Uh, then we'll head out somewhere else. That's what I was meaning. Uh, whoa, 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 whoa. I thought they were lying about the Hydra. The is that is a Hydra. Okay. You have my attention. Um. What troubles you? Switch back to your crossbow. Then do that and that. And kill it. You just you're but a note in our story. Kill it. Oh, we might want to try some um, magic as well to kill it. Not dead yet? Oh, yeah. almost. Now it's dead. Okay. There we go. Ooh, got five eyes from it. Something that we can climb with athletics. Interesting. Then nothing there, huh? Okay, well I'm climbing An expected it. Result. We succeeded. Nice. Uh yeah, we'll have to grab that. Okay. Don't know where we are, but Okay, there's a body with dirty notebook. Never before have so many troubles beset our lands. Robbers rule the roads, peasants flee, leaving everything they own behind. And there's terrible sickness. I saw with my own eyes how people got a fever, and then monsters clawed their way out of them. And our most honourable Baroness is sitting on her hands as she wants nothing to do with this. If this goes any on any longer, she'll have to collect tax from monsters and robbers because there'll be nobody else left. Since no one is helping us, neither the gods nor the Baroness, I firmly decided to rescue our lands myself. Destroying all the robbers and monsters is beyond me, but at least I can restore justice. Yesterday, Grandmother Elsa lost her only hen. How did the simple folk observe all this? Take Garald, that clueless bully. He's got a full hen house. He always has enough eggs and meat. Is that at all fair? 
That's why I decided to sneak into Garald's hen house at night and take one of his hens. It won't hurt him. I put the bird in Elsa's hen house. The grandmother will jump of joy this in the morning. Garald's hens look nothing like the one Elsa lost. But is that so important? All eggs taste the same. The important thing is that justice has been restored, and our Baroness can sit in the castle and twirl her thumbs all she wants. I never liked that grumpy Ralph. I never liked that grumpy Ralph was so preposterous, especially in um was so prosperous, never mind, especially in times as harsh as these. He must have had at least twenty heads of castle. He's gloating in his neighbour's misery, glad that their livestock didn't make it back from the pastures, and sells milk to them for an arm and a leg. So I came at night and took his herd to the old hut. There are meadows nearby, and they won't starve, and I'll take their milk to the village and give it to those in need. Who knows where I'm getting it? Successfully hid the herd, but I couldn't find it anywhere in the next morning. Well, I did find the horns, skins, and tails. Bad luck. Well, at least Ralph uh, isn't having such a good time anymore. Yesterday, I saw a wonderful stallion on the road, with a rare coat. It was all white, with beautiful spots on its sides, and many shiny badges on its saddle. It hurt my eyes. I reckon it must be some money bags who stopped to take a leak. I wouldn't have... Uh, I wouldn't have won if I, if I were there to fight him, but taking a stallion, sure thing. Untied it and sprung its... Um, Sprung on its back and galloped all the way to the village. I quietly led the stallion into my uncle Fre uh, Fry's shed. Um, his old mare might die plowing the field any day now. Came by to check on him today and there was nothing but ashes left of his hut. A lot of horse tracks on the ground around it. As if from a cavalry unit. Unit. Odd. Greedy Rickman had suffered, uh, stuffed his uh, bar barns full of grain and refuses to share it with the needy. At night, I snuck into one of his barns and pulled out a sack of grain. Decided to take it to Aunt, Lace, uh, Aunt Lucy. The sack was heavy, but my sense of justice gave me the strength. Uh, I hid in, I hid the sack in her barn. But come next morning, that damned Rickman went all the way from his barn straight to Lucy's barn, as if by smell, made an awful scene. The scoundrel. I'm positive once the peasants find out who's been helping them, they'll write songs about me. But my heart desires even more heroic deeds. I cannot stand watching the people's misery. It is time to give them back their happy lives. Tomorrow, I'm planning to travel to the hideout of the Stag Lord himself and steal all the treasuries accrued by robbing poor peasants and refugees from neighbouring lands. The truth shall triumph. After that, we'll get uh, to the gold of our Baroness. We'll see what she hides in those coffers. Ah. So, here's a key for something. Interesting. But also, uh, yeah, he's ca caused all sorts of problems for his, uh, yeah, for his friends and family, making them think other people had, making other people think that they had stolen their stuff. Definitely not on. Anyway, wonder what that key. Do you think that key opens the Stag Lord stuff over here, like the fake Stag Lord stuff? There's a chance, right? I mean, he was going to steal the Stag Lord stuff first, so maybe. Ooh, what we got here? Ooh, another dog tag. Lovely. More money. I like the uh, money drops. Yeah. Okay. Right. Carry on over here. All the way over here. Come on. Just a little bit quicker. Again, I would love a way to make us quicker, but I suppose we could use the haste spell if I wanted to make us quicker. So, do I need to wait for Lindsay to say she can't do that? <laughs> oh, never mind. Play. Uh, Jubilos did it. Never mind, you've been replaced, Lindsay. We need to try something else. Completely replaced. Oh no, that was the jagged key I uh, used that time for the second one. Let us be careful. Nice, diamond dust and a diamond. I'll take it. Don't worry about it. All right, back across the bridge, and we can speak to the old man. I don't know if we've. I don't think we have to speak to the refugees over here. That's fine. I think we should be alright. I don't know how much money we have now. Hm, 1,600. Not too bad. Right, old man. Hello. The old man looks at you, hope in his pure blind eyes. Uh, I found your berries. You lied. These aren't medicine. They're poison. The old man shifts his gaze down. Please don't be angry. Look, I'm sick like all the others. I've seen the monsters come out of, out of people. I'd rather take my own life than wait for such a terrible end. 
I beg you, lass, give me the berries. There, this is no sin upon your soul. I'd have killed myself anyway. You only helped an old man ease his suffering. Why are you sure you have the same illness? Um, I, I'm not sure. Who's to say? We're waiting to see whether some horrible creature hatches out of me. I'd rather die by my own hands. Um, find Yod uh, Kav, uh, Kavken in town. He can identify your illness and give you the help you need. The man's eyes light up. Someone, someone could help me. A weak smile crosses his wrinkled face. There's still hope. Oh, Adrast will protect this woman. Thank you, thank you. I'm leaving right now. I won't let the sickness stop me. As long as my legs will carry me, I'll make it there. Yeah, so either we've cured him or we've sent, um... Yod, a lovely owlbear, to attack him. One or the other. I'm hoping we've cured him. Hey, peasants, I let—I got rid of the stag lord for you. I'll go in. Yeah, whatever. They'll work it out in the end. Right. Time to leave the bridge. That was, all in all, fairly successful. I mean, apart from the dragon, which I ran away from. But overall, pretty successful. Uh, Nothing I want there. Let's leave. Right. And it only took one day to do. So I think that means we've got like five days left on the uh, next event. Although we might have an event soon anyway. Because we have a couple of people who aren't doing anything. We'll see. Uh, no kingdom events yet. Okay. Well, I am going to end the episode here. Thank you for watching. I'll see you next time. Goodbye.